Hello, everybody, and welcome. Welcome to today's session. It's really exciting uh, to see everyone. Uh, this is Nelly Deutsch. If uh, you could add in the chat box where you're from and anything else you'd like to add. So uh, I'm looking at the advanced settings of WizIQ, and it's really exciting to see that they're making uh, some amazing uh, new features. I don't know if any of you have uh, created WizIQ um, schedule. If you uh, schedule a class, so you would see all these uh, amazing features. All right, so uh, today's session um, is going to start off with a little bit of work from your end. So uh, get your hands ready, uh, your fingers on your keyboard um, as you use the chat. And uh, you're going to have to uh, do a little bit of uh, multitasking. All right, so see, we've got people from Venezuela, Albania. Hello, Canada. Good to see you. Uh, Senegal, uh, Hungary, uh, I wanted to say something in Hungarian, but my accent is so bad, you know, uh, United States, New Jersey, uh, Indiana, uh, let's see, the UK, well, that's uh, quite a bit. All right, so we've got some uh, amazing places here. Just feel free, Florida. Hello there. And uh, let's see, Toronto. Good, Jackie. All right, so uh, lots of uh, places. If you could just add where you are exactly. In other words, are you uh, in the kitchen? Are you in the living room? Are you at work? Are you in the subway? Um, are you at the pool? I, I wouldn't imagine anybody would be near water, but maybe, who knows? So uh, that will give us an indication of uh, where you are. You can see where I am. I'm in my regular room uh, where I do most of these sessions. We've got Sao Paulo, Brazil, and Charlotte, you wanted to say hello? Maria is in the office at home. Uh, pool would be nice. Yes, I totally agree with you. I wonder what the weather is like where you are and if you have air conditioning where you are and so on. All right, so uh, let's get ready for the task before we start with uh, uploading videos and understanding the system and a few other uh, things that I'd like to discuss with you. So here they are. That's the... Uh, let me get rid of my video here. Okay, that's the task for the class. Okay, now there are five things. So what I'd like you to do is go one, and then your response, and then two, your response, okay, and so on as you go. So if you could make it a little bit larger, uh, notice uh, you can uh, increase the size of the font. You can also get a color. And uh, Okay, so Thomas, you've added something. And it looks like it's um, session code. So it, it looks like it's a course, but there's something not there. All right, now notice what you're putting in the chat box. Okay, take a look at the writing in the link. Okay, notice what Charlotte added. She added uh, number one is not a course. Notice Charlotte, it says, um, understanding the teaching. Okay, great. Everybody's adding something. That's wonderful. But pay attention to um, the text in the uh, in the link that you're adding. That's okay. There's no you don't have to apologize for anything, because that's that's exactly um, what we should expect from our students too. Okay, when we ask a question. Uh, we should never expect anyone or everyone to have the same response. Everybody will respond slightly differently. You may get the same responses, but you may get a variety. And don't be alarmed by it. It just means that um, there may be more than one answer to a question. 
All right, so number one, if you could just add number one, and notice it's the length of the course that brought you here. And many of you <laughs> understood that as being, and this is perfectly normal, okay? Whatever, the way you respond, you have to realize is 100% normal and correct, okay? So if you miss the word course that brought you here, you would think that it's the class, that brought you here, which is correct. Okay, so if we take out the course and we look at the words link, okay, we'll ignore the word course and we'll just look at the words link and brought you here. So if you wrote down whatever brought you here, that's correct, right? Technically speaking. So uh, let's see if we can find the link of the course. Okay, very good, Tom. Now notice uh, what the course looks like. The name is Blogging Reflective Learning, but it should be something else, right? So uh, let's forgive that. Um, so I should have linked my email. <laughs> no, no. That, oh, that's that's a good point, Charlotte. Yes. Uh, the only thing is that you can't add a link to your email, at least not right now. Okay, you would have to be on the cloud uh, with the link. The link would have to be in your browser window, and that doesn't exist yet, but it will very soon. All right, so Thomas has the course. Okay, now if you haven't enrolled in that course, click on the link that Tom has just added and make sure that you are enrolled in that course. Just click on it and come right back. Okay, so um, that's okay. Very good, Danielle. You got it. You got the second part. Okay, and I can see from looking at it. I don't have to click to see what it is. So Danielle has number two, which is the link of the... Is, it, is that true? Is that the link of the PowerPoint presentation? We're looking at number two. Okay, so number two. Tom, take a look at it very carefully. You can read what it says. Is that the link of the PowerPoint for today's class? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Hello, Helen. It says upload. Yes, that's exactly what it says. Upload videos. But uh, notice, let's see what uh, Maria has there. Maria has tutorial which is correct. Look at the difference between what Tom added and what Maria added. So Maria, you get a star. And Tom, you also get a star because you're both right. That's what you understood. Okay, so we've got two stars here, one for Tom, who added the class because that's what he thought. Um, but that it said, notice, it said, and this is really important, you have to be aware of the fact that if we miss information, we have to be kind to our students when they miss information. So Tom was right. He noticed he saw today's class, which is correct. So he added a link to today's class. And Maria added the PowerPoint presentation for today's class. Okay, excellent. Let's see, Anna, you've got a login session. That seems to be, I don't know what that is. That seems to be a tutorial. Okay, I think. All right, so the next one, number three. I see nobody's uh, running numbers. Number three, the link to your profile. Your profile, not mine. And notice uh, it has to be public, the way other people are seeing it. Uh, the PPT link is uh, Maria. Keith, Maria has the correct link if you just uh, scroll up. Let's see, Lucia has a desktop app. And, oh, that's interesting. Download desktop. PowerPoint link. Link. Okay, very good, Charlotte. You got it. Notice you see Charlotte's name and a number. That's her, um, 
By the way, Charlotte, you can get rid of the number. You can just have your name. For example, my account name is www.wiziq.com. You can do whatever you want it to be. Instead of a number, you can get rid of the number. You can customize it. So mine would be Nelly Deutsch. Okay, that's um, my profile. It's better to have your name and not a number because uh, Google search uh, robots, engines, uh, don't find you with a number, but they do with a name. Uh, Tom, I keep on getting signed out automatically. That's interesting. Something that, you know, we should uh, work out with support. I'll talk about support in a minute. All right, let's go to number four. Notice number four. Share the link of a Moodle course where you can submit your 10 reflections for the classes, live classes, or the recordings of understanding the teaching system on WizIQ. So now I'm looking for a Moodle. Okay, I'm looking for a Moodle course. So it'll be, I think I just deleted that. Uh, let's get that back. All right, see, even if you delete something, it comes back. There we go. Okay, let's see if you can um, Moodle. Okay, that's gonna take you a little bit of time there. Okay. Apologize, this is, no, that you don't need to apologize. Not at all, not at all. Do not know what Moodle is. That's okay. It's just a, a place. It's like a website. Okay, Helen. Um, a Moodle is actually a website. I shouldn't call it Moodle. It's a website. I mean, the fact that, you know, I installed Moodle on the website doesn't have to uh, matter to anybody. It's just a website called Moodle for Teachers. I should change the name, right? so that people don't get confused. That's the name of the website. It's called Moodle for Teachers. And on the site, I'll help you out here, uh, Moodle for Teachers, okay, dot org, you will find, and you don't have to go into it, just uh, on the right of the mouse, or uh, if you're using a pad on the right, just uh, hover over it, copy the link, and you can add it. See if you can find it there. Okay, um, and question number five is how many sessions, you can all answer, have we had so far on understanding teaching, the teaching system on WizIQ? I like the name you do. Okay, that's good. Helen, uh, you can contact me um, at any time if you need a, further information. That's for everybody, by the way. There's uh, my email if you want to contact me or about anything. Okay, we're going to come back to this. I'll give you a little bit time off. Um, okay, great. So that was a lot for the first time. So uh, I'll let you <laughs> sit by, sit back, relax, and let's get started in understanding the WizIQ system. All right, so just to uh, summarize, you came from a course called Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology. Generally, the courses on WizIQ have live online classes and content in them, okay? Because that's what we add. The syllabus for blend and flip with technology is right here. Let me share it with you so you'll get a better idea about the course. And the reason that I'm introducing the course is because I want you to be able to get the most out of these uh, live sessions. Okay, so there's the course. Ah, Lucia, you got it. Excellent. Uh, it's a tutorial very good on reflecting on events. Okay, that's very good. All right, and this is uh, what the syllabus of Learn to Blend and Flip with Technology. It's uh, completely free, and I want you to understand this. I do not uh, promote 
anything on WizIQ that is not free. In general, I do not promote anything that's not free. Okay, so you can um, think of Nelly as everything is free for learning. Okay, and uh, notice there's a certificate. You can get a certificate for reflecting and Lucia added the uh, link about reflecting. You can submit your reflections in order to get the certificate in this website called Moodle for Teachers. That's where you'll get it. WizIQ does not have a system for certificates yet. So until WizIQ has it, I use my website to give certificates. Okay, can you hear me? Oh, you can't hear Salim. Uh, can someone help Salim and tell him to maybe um, refresh or to log out and log back in? Hello, Nevis. Welcome. Oh, I'm sorry about your connection. I had a very bad one this morning, too. So um, I can sympathize with that. All right, so we're looking at our account on WizIQ. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you do not, if you have an account on WizIQ. Okay, thumbs up if you don't know where the thumb is. It's not this one, it's the smiley. Okay, just where you're adding in the chat. Uh, there's a smiley there, just click on it and then you get a pop-up of a few uh, smileys. Click on the one that you want. Okay, so I see most of you have. I'm looking for a thumbs down. If <laughs> Hala has two of them. Okay, so if you don't have your uh, account as a teacher, okay, we're talking about teachers on WizIQ, you can get it for free. And let me share the link on how you can get it for free. Okay, that's what it says. I know people don't believe me, but I, I just share links. Okay, there's the link, and it'll tell you that it's free. Okay, I've been saying free for a long time, but I was always afraid that maybe I was wrong, but there it is. Okay, so thumbs up. Thank you, uh, Salim, for the thumbs up. Okay, so if you look at your account on the top right, okay, we're going to be focusing top right, and top left. So top right, you will see all this information. Okay, and we've gone over this, but it's always good to review. Notice the upload content because that's what we're going to look at today. We're going to look at uploading content. Now, what does uploading content mean for you? And remember, whatever you say is correct because that's you. Okay, there's no such thing as someone who's not correct because that's what they think. Um, and there's always something right in whatever we think. Okay, it's never all wrong. Uploading content is relevant to the course you would like to teach. Good. My course slides. Okay, Helena has her course slides in her library, and she uploads it by going into upload content. Now, notice this is a verb. And it's really important that you notice that all these are verbs. This is where you create, schedule, and upload. Okay, so notice the differences here. PDF. Yes, exactly. Very good. That's right, Danielle. You can upload a few different files. You can upload, if you can write in the chat box, we'll start with PDF. Uh, Helena mentioned slides. Okay, so slides is uh, PPT, PowerPoint. Uh, anything else that we can upload other content? Images, no. <laughs> That's the only thing, Charlotte, that you can only upload to the class on WizIQ. You cannot, there's no uh, storage of images on WizIQ yet. This is something we need. Word document, that's right. Anything else? Great. Okay, so basically it's text, it's everything but images. You can also upload MP4 or video files. Okay, video files of different kinds. You can upload MP3 
uh, which are audio files of various kinds. Okay, you can also embed. Okay, what does it mean to embed? When you go into upload content, you can also embed. And embedding means that it's not on your computer, it's somewhere else. Okay, it's someplace else. Now you can only embed video or audio. That's all. Okay, means adding to the website. Yes, it means that you need a code, Charlotte. Basically, you need a code. You get the code somewhere and you paste it. So embedding actually means pasting uh, codes, HTML to be specific, but it could be other codes too. I believe WizIQ only um, takes uh, HTML, okay, but it's pasting codes. It, that's right, exactly. Okay, don't feel bad if you make typos. <laughs> I'm the number one typo uh, person in the chat box, so feel free. If you make mistakes, you know, we're all um, the same. We all make mistakes when we write in chat boxes. Okay, so let's take a look at how we upload content. Number one, you always know where you are on WizIQ, and I want you to pay attention to this because you're going to help others eventually. You'll have to uh, know this so you can help um, your students teachers, whoever they happen to be. So number one is your page name. Number two, you have a choice here. You can either browse. And where are you going to browse? Everybody knows this. Where are you going to browse? Where do you browse? Hmm, I'm look, where do we browse? Oh, let me browse here. Okay, notice these words. If you're an English language teacher, it's kind of crazy because usually we browse through uh, magazines, books, um, right? It's, it's, it's a certain way, right? We browse with our eyes, but we also do something. We look over. That's right. We browse. But in this case, we browse in our PC. That's right, Helena. Or in our Apple or Mac, or if we're using um, Linux. Okay. Anybody using Linux here? If you are, you're very smart. It's cheap and it's good. No. <laughs> All right, neither am I, but uh, maybe one day. Okay, so we browse in our computer system, whatever system it is, whether it's Windows, Apple, or uh, Linux. Okay, and number two, of course, embed. We know what embed is. What do we say? What is embed? It's, uh, what's embed again? I forget what I said. Right, pasting. That's right, very good. You're, I'm just watching to see if you're listening. All right, number three, we add, we have to add a title because there's an asterisk here. Number four, do we need to add a description? Yes, no, maybe. Number four, do we need to add a description? Do we? I hate adding descriptions. Do I have to? Look, take a look at number four. Tom says no, Helena says yes. Uh, Neva says if you want. In other words, you have a choice. Hala says no. Anybody else? Do we have to? No asterisks. That's right. So we don't have to. Okay, but we should, right? Because we want to have um, things organized. Okay, notice the language. Do we have to add a language? Number five. Do we need to add a language? I do, so it helps. That's right. Of course, it's, we need to organize things. That's right. You need to add a language. Now, how many languages are here? Have you looked at it? There are a lot of languages. I think there are more languages than... Yes, you, you opened it up, eh, Nevis? I was shocked. I said, oh my gosh. Um, you speak three. But there are a lot of languages here, so you can have your session in a certain language. Number six, I... It's up to you, okay? Number six, do you want it private? Do you want to share it with the world? Um, how do you feel about it? What do you like? P or P? Private or public? Okay. Well, it depends. If it's private work and you want to get credit for it, you don't want the world to use it and to make changes that make it private, especially that's right, Nevis, if it's a paid course, okay? You don't want to charge for it on WizIQ and then have it public. It's not, you know, right. So it's up to you. 
since my stuff is free, I share everything. And of course, don't forget number seven. I have had people tell me, Nellie, I did everything and it disappeared. Does anything disappear online? Anything disappear? Have you ever heard of anything disappearing? Never. <laughs> That's right, Helen. Tom. That's right. Nothing ever disappears. That's right. No, 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 no. It does. Well, we, we might not know where it is, but it doesn't disappear if you put it online. But it does not appear if you don't continue. Okay, so you need to continue. That's the only thing. All right, so this is how I went into my computer system and I got my PowerPoint. Now, notice there are lots of other things here, but the PowerPoint is the one with the orange on top. So that's what I did on my system. So I browsed through my system. I want you to look at the different icons, okay? So that you know what you have. You have, well, you, you'll get used to it, but everybody knows what a PPT looks like. Okay, give me a thumbs up if you can recognize a file when you see one. Can you recognize a PowerPoint presentation when you see one as opposed to a PNG, okay, which is an image? Okay, these are things that we should look at. And we have been exposed to this for years, you know, but it's time to open our eyes and actually see what's there, okay? We don't have to be afraid anymore, okay? I mean, at the beginning, I used to be so scared I would just, you know, I don't want to see this, um, especially with the HTML code. The first time I went into an HTML code, I almost fainted. My heart started beating. <laughs> Would you believe that? Um, but it's true. When we are not familiar with something, we get scared. Okay, and it's very natural. So uh, that's right. Oh, yes, they do. That's right. The icons change. That's right. You're that's very true, Tom, okay, depending on the system. But we all know what MP3 is, okay? So what's MP3? Just um, see if you were paying attention. That's right. That's right, okay? It's audio, A for audio, <laughs> that's right. MP3 is audio. But there are other um, audio systems, you know, it's not, anybody know another kind of audi audio file that's not MP3? Anyone know another? Ah, very good. Excellent, Judy. Uh, that's right, Wave. No, MP4 is not audio, okay? That's something else. But Wave, that's right, and there are other funny things, okay? But there are others, Egg or Bleg or, you know, all right. Um, so we can upload an MP4 3 to WizIQ, and we can upload some pretty big ones. Oh, AR, thank you, Tom. All right, so notice I uploaded something. Can you see what it's called? Anybody see what it's called? It's a uh, MP3. You can see here MP3. Uh, can you see what it's called? Or it's it's kind of tiny, but I wonder if you can see it. Oh, you do see it. Excellent. Okay, good for you. All right, it's called Wisdom of the Mountains. Anybody guess what kind of uh, audio that is? Thank you, Tom, for making it larger so I can really see it now. That's right, Tom. Are you? Oh, wow. So you must have, uh, how do you know? Chilling music, that's right. But it's not here, it's in my other account. Otherwise, I would have played it for you. Oh, well, you have it. Is that right? Very nice. All right, it's nice music. And I think it's free, isn't it? Um, as far as I know, it's free. So uh, you might want to get it. But anyways, I'll share it with you. Okay, I will share it with you. Okay, so uh, it's MP3. Let's go on to the next one. The next one is, here it is. Now you can see it. Notice the word processing. What does it mean? Is it thinking? I mean, when I process information... It means that I'm thinking, right? I mean, look at look at the different meanings of words. Yes, it is Chinese. That's right. In process, loading. Very good, Helena. That's right. That's another way of saying processing. It's loading. Renato, compressing for... Oh, I like that one. That's very good, Jacqueline. That makes a lot of sense. Excellent. All right, so here's the Wisdom of the Mountain, two of four, okay? 
and notice it's uh, in the process and I have a choice here whether we're okay this is still not video we're still mp3 all right now notice it gives me a message at the top your file is being processed it will be available soon an email will be sent to your registered email which is the reason to have a correct email account once the file is available for you isn't that nice you know service with a smile so you don't have to stick around you can close the page and go have lunch okay now notice we were on the right now we're on the left top left notice there's a content library okay now what is a content library my goodness i've heard of libraries do libraries not have content what do libraries have dinner okay Nevis. what do libraries have they have books but books files information right they have information so why call it content library why not call it library wouldn't that be enough okay but you know tech people uh, they called it content library and what's in my content library the files okay uh, the files and notice here again uh, notice there's an icon here of a note anybody know what kind of note this is wisdom of the mountains okay here it is now I have a choice I can edit I can delete and I can add to a folder okay I can add this to a folder and I can create folders which is nice because I can organize my content okay so um, and I can also share it in other words you can download the music you can download the wisdom how many of you would like to download uh, wisdom of the mountains if you don't have it Tom is not gonna want to because he has it already okay would you don't want it why not uh, to see why not yes no yes <laughs> all right is that you Leo face English online oh you do want it okay it's free all right so you can download it okay this is mp3 because I made it public notice what is this IMG is the name. I didn't give it a very good name. Uh, what is this? I use a Mac, so it, it may look a bit. That's right, Tom. It's a video, video. A video, idio. Right. It's a video, okay? And it's on my system. So I browse in my system, and then I'm going to upload. Now, has it been uploaded yet you tell me has it been uploaded yet it's all green does that mean it has anybody it seems like a easy question right but notice some people say yes and some people say no who's right and who's wrong well you're both right <laughs> you're both right in a sense okay but some are more right than others okay so on wisdom iq if you see the green do not touch anything because the green means that you have to wait a little bit more okay just wait a tiny little more it's almost there because when it's finished you will not see the green at all okay it'll just go off all right so be careful yes okay it's not there yet notice you need to Put a title but you don't need to have a description and there's my mp4 which is a ah, see the green means that it's still processing okay it's a an mp4 but notice this is finished the wisdom of the mountain okay next next we're going to embed how many of you um, feel comfortable about embedding HTML codes that's the only thing you can embed in WizIQ and it has to be either mp3 or mp4 it cannot be anything else trust me I tried now it could be what's an mp4 that you can embed 
Anna, what's an MP4 and where can you get it? I will help you, Anna. I hope that by the end of the session, you will understand. Very good, Judy. It's a video. Exactly. Okay. And I'm going to paste it because we paste. We copy from somewhere and we paste. We do not have to create it ourselves. Okay. And this is where, this is an example of a code. You see, it's all there. And this code is from, anybody know? It's hard to guess. But you can get a video from Vimeo. That's right. Very good, Maria. Vimeo or YouTube. YouTube or Vimeo. I like Vimeo better because um, you go into HTM, it, um, into a large HD mode, and it looks great. With YouTube, it sometimes doesn't look clear. You have to make sure you set it properly. Hello, Esther. Good to see you. Okay, so you copy the code. Now, notice uh, the size. Okay, what size is the video? This is from YouTube. You're right. Uh, what size is the video? Hmm. Very good, Charlotte. You guys can really see well. Okay, that's very good. I thought that you wouldn't be able to see that. Excellent. Yes, it's uh, 560, and you can open up the flap on YouTube, and you can actually uh, even customize it to the size that you want. Exactly, that's the frame size. You can also get, because some websites do not take frame, like uh, sometimes, well, Moodle you don't have to embed anymore. Uh, you can simply um, hyperlink the YouTube link or the Vimeo link, which is really great. But you can put the old uh, HTML code from um, YouTube, even though I think that they're going to get rid of it very soon. I think it's not going to be there anymore. Notice that Google is making a lot of changes everywhere. Nobody complains. And you know why? Nobody complains when Google makes changes without telling us, without even alerting us that, you know why nobody complains? Anybody know why nobody complains when you when Google does something and they keep doing it all the time? <laughs> they do it right. You wish, Hala. They make, they make mistakes too. Oh, uh, no, no, no. Nobody complains because there's no one to complain to. <laughs> There's no support on Google. You can, you, you just go, they just send you to forums and we'll be talking about support. There's no support. Google is too big. It's almost like Facebook, you know, ask for support and then wait a few months and maybe years if you're lucky. So you copy the code from YouTube and you paste it right here. Here's the code. Now you can see what it looks like. Isn't it lovely? So imagine the first time I looked at this, my heart, I almost had a panic attack. My heart was racing. I got scared. Now, why would anybody get scared from an HTML code? Why? Okay, uh, but this was 20 years ago. Maybe that's why. Yes, it's long and confusing and it's scary. And well, it's unfamiliar. Okay, so if you feel uncomfortable about anything online, talk to me. I'll set you straight. All right, so what do we have here? Any guess video? What is this? Zero minutes ago. Uh, what did I upload? Any ideas? I can delete it. The code exactly. The embed code. Okay, you notice the arrow. Very good. Now, there's a feature on WizIQ. It's fairly new. You can add your favorite content. Isn't that nice? Uh, I don't have any favorite yet, as you can see, but this is a new feature that I thought I'd share with you. All right, now let's go back to the right of the content library. Okay, these are, and I think you'll find this interesting. Uh, did we talk about... This is the upload content. 
uploaded. Notice it's not a verb anymore. It's the passive or the past. Uploaded content, it's actually an adjective here. So a Word document, PDF. Now what's XLS, XLSX? What's the green thing there? Anybody? Excel, very good, right. Okay, you don't have to know how to spell it, it's very complicated. And then PPT we talked about, look, there are different kinds. And then what's move AV, M, MPEG, M, WMV, what are all these? Okay, what do we call these? That's right, notice there's no MP4 here, but it's there, okay? It's not listed here, but it's definitely there. Their movie, that's right, MP4s. And then notice Wave, WMA, and MP3, which is very good. Right, this is just a little review here. Now look what you can embed, and this is really nice, okay? You can embed YouTube video, author stream, script, slide share, and others. Okay, so it's not only MP4, and not mp3, but you could also embed these other slides. Okay, these are slides. Has anyone tried any of these? Uh, slide share. Yeah, it's great. And you have to embed these, which means that, you know, slide, how many of you have slide share? Uh, give me a thumbs up if you've got slide share. I don't use it, but people are making friends with me all the time. You know, I, I really have to fix up my slide share. I add everything to WizIQ. I don't bother. Or to uh, Google Drive. Okay, so you do. Lucia, you don't. Okay. Um, and Scribd. How many are using Scribd? I mean, I have an account, but I don't use it very much. Okay, so be aware. The only thing you can't embed are images. Okay, you cannot embed, but you can filter. Notice the word filter here. I hope you understand what it means. If you smoke, you might not, but you can filter it, okay, according to these files. So if you want to find something, uh, you can do that. Yeah, Nevis, we, we have to write them, and I'll, I'll show you where we're all going to write, okay? Because um, the reason WizIQ has most of their stuff is because I've been bugging them to get this and that since 2007. So it's good for teachers to um, ask for what they need and WizIQ gets it. Okay, so notice here share. You can also, if you don't think something is terrible, you can flag it. And you can embed um, classes on WizIQ. Uh, this live class I can embed on a website or blog. So you can embed get the embed code for a live class, which is nice. You can also embed a course or a few courses and add them to your uh, website or blog. How many of you have either a website or a blog? If you don't, shame on you, but still let us know. Either a website, blog, or both. Okay, so most people do. If you don't, we'll, we'll help you get one. Okay, because it's... Um, it's important. Okay, excellent, very good. All right, so this is a, can you guess what this is? What kind of file this is? Could be anything, except if you look here, you'll get the answer. Okay, right here, I don't know if you can see that. Do you see what it says there? The audios? Okay, anybody, Helena? Okay, notice um, it's very tiny here, but if you look at it very carefully, I know that it's kind of small. You'll notice that it's YouTube. Okay, so it's definitely YouTube. Otherwise, you wouldn't know. I mean, this doesn't mean anything. It could be just an image. Okay, but it was embedded. Okay, now a lot of you have been asking, MP4, I want to download WizIQ live classes and watch some other time offline. I don't want to watch, I don't always have internet. So what do I do if I want to watch a class, but I don't have internet? Well, you can now download. Um, instead of just um, viewing, you can download uh, 
the classes, the new classes, not the old ones, okay? This will just be the new classes, and I'll show you how when you schedule a class, you're able to do this. Um, and then you can upload it to YouTube, Vimeo, and so on. But notice what's here, MP4. And that's really exciting. I found that really exciting. Um, the only thing if you're on a Mac, and I'm on a Mac. How many of you are on Macs? If you could just add a thumbs up if you're on a Mac, just so we get an idea. If you're on a Mac, okay, I see most people are not. <laughs> only Hala is. Okay, just Hala and I. No, it's not, Nevis. That's the point. That's what I'm trying to get across. It's um, the information is misleading. Okay, and I'll show you why it's misleading in a minute, and I'll set you straight. Yes, you don't have to have the desktop. I don't use the desktop because I'm on a Mac, and they don't have the desktop for the Macs yet. Okay, so this is how I did it on my Mac. Okay, Holly, you might be interested. Um, iPad. Okay, as well, you can also get this on an iPad, which is desk, which is a kind of apps anyways. Okay, so for the Mac, you need to uh, use VLC player. And if you click on yes, you'll get it. Okay, and so that's really easy to do with IQ helps you if you're on a Mac and you don't have the desktop. Now I want to show you how you can now make your classes in such a way that enable MP4s. Okay, so let's say I'm going to schedule a class. Okay, I'm not going to show you how. We've done this uh, before. You can try it out by going into your account and just clicking on schedule. I suggest you do set uh, current time and, and date so that you can open it right away and practice. The best way to learn with IQ and how the class works is to schedule a class and practice, 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 okay? Uh, don't be afraid, like I was, of the HTML code. There's nothing to be afraid of. Nobody will be there but you unless you invite someone. And just um, see what's there. Okay? The lights will turn on uh, when you uh, schedule a class for yourself. Okay, that's right. Uh, two fig. All right. So this is how it's done. When you, when you schedule a class, you are given the option of the MP4. So let's go back here so you see it. Okay, that's the, uh, the top. Okay, that's the top. And I'm going down. Okay, so that's the very top. And then under that, there is MP4 file to download. Okay, now you who can attend? If you're making it... People don't have to have WizIQ accounts to attend your classes if you make them private. Okay, did you know this? Uh, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. Did you know that you could invite people to your scheduled class and invite your friends, family members, you know, um, you could do it at home or from the office and invite your husband or your children for lunch. You know, you could go to a restaurant um, open your laptop, you know, and invite your kids and, you know, watch me eat. <laughs> or, you know, it's it. So use WizIQ. You can use it for a lot of things, not just uh, something serious like, you know, these live sessions that I give that are very serious. Okay, you can make it fun and, um, and use it for different things. And then you can record and share the MP4. So if you um, click on notice here, number three. But make sure that you're recording the class. Make sure number two. Oh, because it's an old one, Tom. I, I'm i sorry if I wasn't clear. This is only for the new, the new classes that you schedule. Okay, so it has to be new. This is a new feature, okay? And make sure that you click on it because it's not very clear. I mean, sometimes I, I did this for MM, uh, MMVC14. Anybody know what MMVC14? You're all invited to join the fourth annual. Anybody have the link for it? Fourth annual three day conference in August. Okay, so it's actually August 
one to three with really amazing people. Oh, you have. That's great. You're really going to love it. There's some amazing, amazing. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I love these intensive um, weekend conferences. Okay. They're really great. That's wonderful. Okay. Uh, so anyways, I all the classes will have MP4. Okay. First of all, so um, all you need to do, Nevis, uh, you were asking about how it's done. So this is what you do. You click here, number three, click on it. And then notice the information that it has here, which is really not true. Okay, so this is one case where I say, do not pay attention. It says, upload class recordings, MP4 format, to the WizIQ website. That is not clear. For WizIQ desktop app users only, that is not true. Learn more. So click on learn more, and this is where the truth comes out. Okay, this is the truth. So I know it's really small writing, and you might not see this, but if you schedule a class, you'll see it. Okay? Yeah, it's too small, so let me read it to you. Okay? Um, if you opted for the class recording, and I suggest you always opt it, while scheduling a live class, and are using the web version, forget that. That is not true. The class recording will be available, that's true. However, if you're using the WizIQ desktop for Windows to conduct a live class, the recording is made available in video MP4 format. That's true. In other words, automatically, but they didn't say automatically. So there's truth and there's something that's not so true. Okay, so let me um, <laughs> get, what they're saying is that on the desktop, it's automatic. I'll, I'll get it clear. On the desktop, it's automatic. But if you're on a Mac, like I am, this is what you will see. You will see this yellow background with the black and blue writing. That's because I'm on a Mac. But if you're on the desktop, you will not see this, but only desktop. You will see it. It'll happen automatically. You don't have to ask for it. Okay, so check it out. Uh, once the class ends, the class recording is successfully processed and is saved to your computer in video MP4 if you're on the desktop. If you are using a Mac, you need to download it. Or if you're using another system, you need to download it. The default storage location, okay, now they're explaining things for the desktop. Okay, so everything is really for the desktop. Now, was this answer helpful? Yes or no? Yes or no? Be honest. I'm, I was just reading. <laughs> okay, so it, it has nothing to do with me. Was it? Okay, wonderful. If no, write no. Now, where do I get this information? WizIQ now has a fact of frequently asked questions, and I suggest you use it. And if you don't get the right answer, if you're not getting what you want to get, say no. And if it's good, say yes. Now, there's also a search engine where you can look for uh, information on WizIQ. Okay, uh, they're trying to develop it. And I think they're doing a pretty good job in how it's done. The support team said I couldn't use the MP4 recording for a new. Okay, Nevis, let's uh, let's do it like this. They didn't understand you. First of all, um, you will have the option of downloading it on from the MMVC14. Okay, but you know what? Maybe, um, well, this class is old, so it's not there. But try recording a class and see what you see on your computer. If you have a desktop, use your desktop. And if you're having problems with your desktop, contact support. And um, they will help you. Okay, so no desktop. All right. So try it, because I know it works for the Mac. 
The question is whether the PC, my PC is old. I have an old PC right here, right next to me. I also have a PC just in case, because some um, tools do not are not compatible with Mac, so I also use uh, my PC. Okay, but um, maybe you should get a new one. Get a Mac. All right, I wanted to show you um, that you can now get a brand new WizIQ for free. But before that, I wanted to encourage you that it's really nice to try things out. Don't be afraid. Take a chance. And remember what George Bernard Shaw said. He said that you can change your circumstances by deciding that that's what you want. So try to use WizIQ. It'll transform your life. Go into this. I think I shared it before. It will change your life. Uh, here it is. Here's the link again. Let's see if anybody also has it. There's the link. They just came out with it yesterday. I think it was yesterday or today, maybe earlier today. Um, you can conduct free live classes at the brand new WizIQ and and I think they made a mistake. An all new set of features is now available. An all new. Okay, that's a mistake. I think they have robots sometimes, you know, because the A for, yeah, if you could uh, point that out. Okay, anything that is wrong should be pointed out. Do we have to update? What do you mean update? Update what? Update what? The new version? No, you don't have to do anything. You don't do a thing. It Just the website is new. You don't have to do anything. Uh, it's all on the cloud. They're making changes, just like uh, uh, Google makes changes, only Google doesn't let you know that they just made a change. You just all of a sudden look at your Google and you see, oh my gosh, they've, they've rearranged all the... Uh, the folders and everything's different. Uh, no, everything is fine. You don't have an old account. I mean, if you think of Nelly, I have an old account. I've been around since 2007. I don't do anything. It just changes. Okay. They do, they make the changes. So say you don't have to do anything, nothing at all. Okay. This is only for people who are new to WizIQ. Yeah. Yeah. You just go on. This is just, um, a promotion for the new members of WizIQ. And again, what I suggested is doing is succeeding. So it doesn't matter what happens when you do something. As long as you're doing it, that's a success in itself. So everybody wants to be a success. I don't think anybody doesn't want to be successful. So being successful means that you're doing something, okay? So keep that in mind and have a wonderful rest of the week, which is another day or two. And then that's right to see trial and error. But trial and error always sounded so negative to me. You know, it sounds like trial and then you're making an error. Um... <laughs> Yes, I mean, the words, no, no, not the idea. I've always been doing things by trying them out. But but the air, making mistakes. I, I, I make mistakes on purpose so I can learn. Every time I make a mistake, you know, you'll hear me screaming and my husband will come in and say, what happened, what happened? I said, I made a mistake. Yay! <laughs> and you'll see she nuts. Um, yeah, so making mistakes means that uh, you're learning. So face English, did you say that was Leo? I just want to know if you made it and if uh, things are working. Leo, great. So that means it's working. You heard everything and the system is working. All right. So thank you, everyone. Doing is succeeding. So go for it. Okay. Are you ready? So what are you going to do? The first thing you're going to do before you go, the first thing you're going to do in the chat box. Thank you. Because the session is about you. It's not about me. So if, uh, if you enjoyed it, it's yours. So what's the first thing you're going to do?
first thing you're going to do when you leave this class, the first thing you're going to do, <laughs> what are you going to do? Lunch. All right. Lunch. Try it. Very good to see. So go for it. Dinner. How to embed a video. That's great. How to embed a video. Get back to work. Judy, explore straight to his IQ, Jacqueline. That's right. While well, it's fresh in your mind. And don't forget the link. Okay, Tom is going to copy the chat, but you can also, you can all copy the chat if you can find where it is because there's a new system now. Uh, copy the chat. Okay. Um, is there still a copy the chat? Yes, copy chat, disable chat, pop in chat. So all you have to do is click on copy chat. Notice it's a new uh, room, which is kind of different. Renato, I see you send me a message with a thumbs up. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's it, the system looks marvelous. It's really becoming better and better. And I'm so happy um, that that's what's happening. That's right, exactly, Tom. There's the three bars, and if you hover your mouse over it, you don't have to open to see what's there. You'll see video options, you'll see minimize, you'll see the three attendee list, you'll see exactly what it is. Okay, hovering your mouse or just placing it over something is very important. Chat options and so on. All right, so thank you, everyone. You are awesome. Thank you, thank you. And um, I'm looking forward two the micro teaching that's going to be so much fun uh that's coming in the fall where um everyone's going to be uh teaching so think about it and we'll be teaching one another thank you guys stay safe <laughs>